my god! What's up, everyone? Hopefully you can hear me. Let me know if you cannot. Hey, Mr. Nob. Dingus, hope you're doing okay, man. Hope everyone is okay. Thank you for the host. It's over here. It's right here. Hey, yeah. Uh, you, you can't hear me, right? Ed? So you can hear me. Did I shave my head? Does it look like that? No, I just trim my beard. <laughs> no, I have hair. See, it's just short. <laughs> it does look like I shaved it though. It looks funny, doesn't it? Um, no, I trim my beard up. I'm going to Mexico in two weeks. I didn't want a giant beard in Mexico. This is gonna be hot. So that's what I had done. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time for a pay-per-view show. I hope you guys are all ready for it. Cody King has put together tonight's card. It is 418. Fall Brawl has arrived. It is the last day of September. That means any donations are ending tonight. And the top donator... What's up, Alden? That? Oh, my gosh. Um, the top donator will get first dibs at the prizes. This is the last month we're suspending the top five prizes. Um, so we're no longer gonna be handing out uh, community night picks, music album movies, and all that stuff just for a little while. I uh, didn't seem there's like a heavy interest for it. We're gonna keep the pay-per-view though as the top donator prize, uh, unless you guys throw a fit on that and really wanna keep the prizes. Um, it just didn't seem like there was much interest for the additional prizes. Uh, we can, Reddit says keep the prizes. So, I don't know, there are only five donators this month. So, uh, I, don't, I don't know how you guys feel. Are the prize is not good enough? Do you guys want different prizes? Wolfpack, yeah. I don't know, the fellowship, yes. I mean, if you guys have ideas for things, too, anything other than the prizes we have, message me. Come up with your ideas. Um, what kind of content you guys want to see. We do have a new show launching. Next week is the pilot episode. The Graveyard Shift is finally launching. We're going to be talking about everything horror, scary stuff. And yes, Rated Halo is returning back to the channel. That is something we need to get back going again on the weekly. Um... So in place of the years in gaming, which we concluded, the graveyard shift will be a couple times a month, and we're going to be talking scary stuff, and uh, I think the first episode, if anyone wants to be on it, let me know. We could talk about our scary roots, like what got us into scary content, what are some of our favorite things, what kind of groomed us, and then we'll have our first feature. I just got done watching the Squid Game on Netflix. And I want to talk with somebody about that. If anyone has watched that, I'd love to have you on a guest for that segment. Six prize, Greta Wrestler Remedies. Your <laughs> yeah, not a bad idea. Uh, ready, you should. So that is stuff coming up. It is almost October. Give you a day and you watch it. Watch Squid Game. You got a Halloween review for the last Tuesday in October. Yes. Uh, we're going to be talking about a lot of scary stuff. Again, the Graveyard Shift is launching next month. It'll be replacing the Years in Gaming podcast. It's going to feature me uh, discussing uh, with a rotating guest list of people. All things scary movies, scary games, uh, scary books, scary TV, anything scary. We want to talk about it. Uh, yes, Rated. We should. 
Uh, we postponed Tuesday's music review podcast to next week. Um, I don't know if you can tell. I'm finally getting over a cold. I I got a cold. One of the kids brought something home from uh, school, and I got that. And I was much worse on Tuesday than I am right now. Um, thank God for my wife getting Dayquil and NyQuil. That has helped break up this congestion. So... That has been what's been happening in my life. But you guys aren't here for that. You guys are here for Fall Brawl. I wanted to get everyone a few minutes here to, to uh, arrive for the show. We got seven amazing matches. We have opening up the show tonight, the Elimination Chamber for the women. Six competitors competing in the chamber for money in the bank. We also have a six-man ladder match to determine the Twitch Championship. This isn't football? No. Touch tips. That's what we do. Boom. Thank you so much. Yeah. We have a second elimination chamber for the men to determine a money in the bank prize. We have the DNA Championship on the line tie against Wicked in an Extreme Rules match. We also have the Tag Team Championship on the line. Number one contenders, N.O.W. facing off against a Wolf Pack. That's right, we've been dominant in the tag division. In 30, yeah, uh, if you want to join, let me know. I'll uh, load that up while I'm thinking about it. Um, we also have the NAW Women's Championship. Princess Emma, the challenger. B-M-B, the women's champion. Big Branch Brit is ready for tonight. And then in our main event, a two out of three falls yeah big main event tonight if you saw on social media Adam Styles finally speaking on the beginnings of what was a fantastic month for Styles to having everything fall apart in front of his eyes with his first championship reign and that is all thanks to Cody King and the N.O.W and not the Wolf Pack that is so that is your main event Cody King the champion defending against Adam Styles for the NAW Championship. Thank you for the host, Cody. This is a war, and it will be a war. Two out of three falls main event, and breaking news. Everyone is banned from ringside during the main event tonight. We're going to have a good, clean fight between Adam Styles and Cody King in our main event tonight. That is happening. Um, and Bullet, just to confirm, there is no Naw After Dark tonight. It is a pay-per-view night, so there will not be one. Our next show will be Tuesday, NPC. Again, Tuesday. Keep that in mind, Tuesday. I can't say it enough, Tuesday, because Tuesday night we have a live homecoming pay-per-view special brought to you by me, October 5th, 2017. The Weekly Dosage, our very first episode that we streamed featuring the Super Nintendo Classic review. Weekly Dosage episode one, October 5th, 2017. Four years ago, we're celebrating four years now as a DNA stream and that is homecoming on Tuesday taboo Tuesday also featured on Tuesday is the cooking special during taboo Tuesday I'll be eating flaming Cheetos mac and cheese and drinking flaming hot Mountain Dew what's up Emma so that is going down Tuesday again NPC returns Tuesday before taboo Tuesday Tuesday night no NAW next Thursday I am heading out the next day for Mexico. I do have a tag team tournament the week I am gone, scheduled and ready to air for you guys. Eight teams competing for the number one contendership of the tag division. Stay tuned for that. That'll be on YouTube. Let's kick off Fall Brawl. It is time, episode 418, Fall Brawl. Welcome to the pay-per-view. 
while we're loading that up, let me get Discord going. We're going to have Cody King on guest commentary in a little bit tonight, which will be helpful because my throat is already <coughs> falling apart. I was worried, but the show must go on. I do not miss a show. So let me just adjust some things here. Yeah. All right. Our opening contest is Super Kick Party. Hey, yeah. Thank you for that. Thank you for the host, I Rob. We're heading down to the Elimination Chamber to kick things off. We have Kira. You just made the list. Damn. Time out. Go you indeed. Times 24. That is two years strong, ladies and gentlemen. I Rob. Times 24 with the resub here. Thank you so much, man. That is incredible. Wolf Danger on commentary. Yo! Book of Paper V will get you on commentary. So let me load that up. Uh, somebody give me an idea for a prediction. Somebody give me an idea. Who, who will win or who will lose? I need ideas. Thoughts? What do we, what do we got? What do we got? Give me your best, people. I want your best. Not everyone at once. Lana, win or lose. Thank you, Thunder. Let's do that. Let's launch the prediction. Will Lana win? Yeah or no? And let's get him in. Predictions are live. Gamble, 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 people. You know you want to. Selena to win. Storm. So predictions are live. Get him in, get him in, get him in, and get him. Welcome to Fall Brawl. We're live here, episode 418, and kicking things off with Money in the Bank. Kira and Alyssa to start. Getting in tonight is the last night for donation prizes. Our top donator this month, as of right now, is Cody King. He might be booking the Halloween pay per view. which will actually be a few days before Halloween. Just to clear that up. Alyssa, Kira starting things off. Lizona cheering on Selena here to win. Big standing drop kick from Kira. Prediction for next match with the champion retained. I like that one. Uh, there are going to be entrances for the month. No, for not the Elimination Chamber, just because it's a different arena. Uh, they're on for all the other matches, though. Oh no, you're ready to see the Wolf Danger. Wolf Danger's on the rise. I don't know if you caught MPC today or not. I see big things happening to Wolf Danger. What's up, Lotus? I love the idea of a costume match, a gimmick battle royal. A costume party, if you will. We'll give you guys enough time to create a second attire for your characters for the Halloween paper view. See who is the most creative. We'll have a costume contest to Battle Royal. What do you guys think about that? Or a Royal Rumble if there's enough interest. You guys got to submit a costume though for your second tire for that. If we get more than eight, we'll do a Rumble. And then we can, uh, regardless of who wins, we can just do like strand prizes and stuff. Batman, you were Jason wins. So we'll have fun with this. Everybody's going to get something. Got some kind of small rumble double edged sword. <laughs> it is time. That's all right. Again, it's not about winning the rumble, so. Lana is in the match. Amy has joined the match. God is called the Joker. Let's we'll see if that happens. Round around around. We're just watching the spinning contest now, apparently. Pinfall attempt from Lana. Kick out at two. Pinfall attempt here from Amy. And another kick out at two. And a pinfall from Lana and Alyssa. Again, money in the bank is on the line for this one. Big hanging 
was there. Alyssa fights out of those strike to the back. And Storm joining the contest. No eliminations as of yet. <coughs> and a pinfall attempt here. I mean, I mean almost eliminated by Kira. We got Wiener Juice and Doritos. I'm okay with that. Let's do it. The power crowd. Love it. Thank you guys too again for getting us to uh, 50 so we could use that power grab emote. Uh, Ty had been wanting to do that for so long. We're so happy that we're able to do that for you guys. Uh, keep in mind too that uh, we're 43% through our Xbox controller giveaway from Design Lab. If you're interested in that, uh, some really cool things that you can come up with as far as colors, designs. Check out Design Lab if you have a chance. Sparks now joining the match. Her attire reminds me of Iron Man. I like it. Storm within us. Oh, Storm submitting her own tag partner. Alyssa is out of the match. Her first elimination here tonight. Did it, did it. Bang, bang, four left. Right. One elimination so far. Five remain in this. She is on the rise, boy. That is a fact. Again, big things happening. Hope everyone enjoys the show. The locker room leader, says Cody. Is anyone buying what he's selling? I can't, I can't say that many of us are, dude. lost her title. Oh no! Spoiler alert if you watched NPC Extreme Rules, the pay-per-view today, which honestly was a really good show. Uh, check out NPC Extreme Rules. It is in our archives now. It aired right before we went live today. Uh, sounds like some of you got to catch it. I'm happy you did. Five remain in this match. I think says social shoes. Yeah, she's ready. Bolt wants to fight Cody so bad. I think Cody's scared. Two count there. Kira almost eliminated. Money in the bank on the line. He's a vacuum cleaner salesman. If he's uh, you know, if you're a vacuum cleaner salesman, your, your best sales pitch is to not describe your product as sucking. Because, what do you do? Like, it's, it's the point, so it works, our products suck. But do they? Yes. But why? Because they're vacuums, they suck. Lana <laughs> eliminated, we are down to four. But yes, Rufi. Not to be confused with Rufi's. Amy eliminated, we're down to three. Headlock here. Kira back standing. Sparks, Storm, Kira outside. The structure right here. And the very dangerous metal part of the structure. Oh! Kira dumped through the rope. Storm to follow. There's a mini tornado. A, really? A real tornado? Nice pin there. The referee not in position though to count right away. That could have been a two count. Beautiful kick from Kira there taking out Sparks. Storm now turning her attention to Kira. Pinfall attempt. Kira almost eliminated there. That was a close three. Not quite though. And do a nice submission hold here. Fights through it. Kira 
looking worse for wear. Sparks dominating right now. Will this be her night to become Miss Money in the bank? Beautiful brain. Oh, so into a into a cover here. Oh, what is Storm doing? Celebrating. You have not won yet. It's a little early for showboating. Knees to face. Get with the pin here. Two and a half. <coughs> nice to push there. Oh, Storm, Trump, no. Back and forth between these two. No advantage right now. Crowd getting loud. Backstab into a submission. Into a roll up. Oh, but uh, not even a two count. Sparks being wise and maintaining her distance here. Planted down in Storm. Sparks, Kira. The fight continues. Stomp to the arm. Three weeks to your birthday. Getting close, man. We'll be here before you know it. Pinfall attempt from Sparks. <laughs> Ooh, takes out the legs there. 11 months back, man. You just had this. We did the birthday bash for you. <laughs> and fighting out of it here. I don't know if she connected fully, but it was a nice kick here, taking advantage of it. That was an awkward kick from Sparks. I guess it was enough to do damage on Storm. She's eliminated. We're down to two. Kira and Sparks. December 19th. That'll be very quick though, too. You just realize how soon your 27th birthday is? We'll just call it 21 again. There's nothing wrong with that. Younger birthdays, yeah, they stopped giving me my birthday. I stopped counting. Oh my, standing submission. Sparks is your new money in the bank. He said never land here, I know. Prediction poll. Survey says she's outcome. Lana did not win. Let's do. Will the champ retain? That was suggested. Will the champ retain? Yes or no? SmackDown premiere. This is a new season, right? This. I mean. The show's year round, but yeah, I guess it's a premiere for investors. Time to feed the bear. Time for the pain train. You got tickets to see SmackDown in November. Speaking of uh, 
in England. I'm hearing rumors that SummerSlam might be in the UK next year. Have you guys been seeing that? Um, I'm trying to convince my wife, if so, for us to go to the UK for that. Because, for one, I've never been to the UK. Two, I've never been to SummerSlam. And, uh, it'd be nice to knock them both off. Tyrone! <laughs> Tie two titles. Scotland's where it's at. Never been there either. I've, I've never left the continent that I live on. The farthest I've traveled is Mexico. So, and, uh, it's far, but not that far. You heard WWE wants to do pay-per-view in Sydney? That'd be sweet, too. Uh, they're doing more stadium shows, too. I think they're looking at eight of them um, for next year. Yowie, wowie. Mark. So that could be cool. I do like a good stadium show. How do you get on the roster on that? Hashtag N-A-W. Upload to Community Creations if you're on Xbox. If you don't have the ability to do so, reach out and uh, ask someone to create you. We have many creators here. I will not name them, but if they want to stand up and uh, volunteer, they can. COVID passport. You got to have one of those now? Yeah, I have to provide, like, Proof of stuff to get back from Mexico when I go. Yeah, whoop pack. Twitch and DNA champion here. One of his two title matches here tonight. Will he walk out with both? Will he walk out with one? Will he walk out with none? We'll find out. It's that boy. Weighing in at 250 pounds, he is the international champion. Uh, 24, this is the second match of the night. Sparks is our women's money in the bank winner. And yes, huge shout out tonight. This card is brought to you by Cody King. Ball Brawl 2021. We have revitalized the classic paper view series here tonight. AEW doing a live show in Australia. I'm hoping AEW goes to the Mall of America in November. That would be fantastic. That brings me back to being a kid watching WCW. First Monday Nitro was in the Mall of America. The bill says, I'll get the belt. Very well could. So could this man. And his opponent. First, from New York. Colt, what is up? Uh, you missed the women's money in the bank inside the elimination chamber. Sparks won that one. Uh, that's all you've missed so far. So welcome to the show. Glad to have you. Getting awarded. He's handing out prizes like his candy. Interesting. Interesting. Or manipulation. DTA. Especially N O W. Who 
at home, people, chant the bear. You hear them all chanting along. Zach Wolf, is that pieces of candy? <laughs> He's been fed enough. I rub you be just a snack. Don't poke the bear. Yow, wow! Bear. You do. You still tower over him. You tower over, I think, in the majority of the roster. He says, I Rob, you weren't even an appetizer. Damn. sick of or you haven't gotten sick of yet the faculty that's a good one good pick evil dead we talked about that in social media um evil dad's a great one too i love the the tv series i thought they did a great job it's unfortunate it got canceled but they get to finish the story the year. friday the 13th yes. all the friday the 13th hell house cube that's a good one Adam has arrived! Nightbreed, Hellraiser, good ones. 24, which Friday the 13th? Like the original? I know you ain't talking about Takes Manhattan. Hellraiser's a good series, yes. They left it open. Um, yeah, yeah. I mean, they did. I mean, it's a closing, but they left it open. House of a Thousand Corpses, that's a good one. Devil's Rejects. What did you think from uh, Three from Hell? Did you watch that one? The original is 24, yes. Killer Jason Tyler. Ram Soda Dracula. Uh, yeah. Um, I think to appreciate that, you have to read it. <laughs> it's not as good as you think. Uh, Cody's really into paranormal stuff. I, I'm, I'm looking forward to many conversations with him on that because I'm a skeptic about paranormal stuff. I love the genre and film, but as far as the reality of it all, I'm a skeptic. Slither's good. And from Dallas, Texas, weighing in. Pain has arrived to inflict pain on NAW. You read the Dracula book? Yeah. See? That's what I mean. No, yeah, the paranormal stuff interests me, but I'm a skeptic on the stars of the reality of the reality. You love watching scary movies, but you scare pretty easily? Uh, no, I, I don't. Uh, I'm desensitized to it all. I am very excited, though, to talk with anybody who wants to be a guest on the upcoming show. Let me know. Let me know what your interests are. We'll feature that movie or series, just like Cody will be on when we talk about Paranormal. Um, Saw's a good one. We can talk about the Saw franchise. That's a great one for myself and I, Rob, and any guests to talk about. Uh, Critters, we mentioned. It's going to be a fun podcast. I can't wait to chat with all of you on that one. 
scary movie series. Uh, I just watched the Squid Game on Netflix. Speaking of Netflix. Alright, you hate three from hell, the ending of Devil's Rejects is Texas, perfect and it should stay that way. Yeah. Devil's Rejects is is fantastic. I didn't hate three from hell, but I, I get what you're saying. <laughs> the matches that we have, we have a lot. This is a ladder match for the Twitch Championship. Sorry, Ty. There's only six entrances. Ladder match for the Twitch Championship now. Who will be the first to climb the ladder? Which are not at ringside for whatever reason. I feel like there's a lot of strange things that can't be explained that fit the paranormal world. I mean, sure. Last three Disney Star Wars movies are horror. <laughs> Man, Jolly, we're gonna have a conversation about Star Wars one day. We did a podcast on ranking those movies already in the past, so we're not gonna do that again. Um, but I would love to have an episode based on uh, good franchises that were potentially damaged by bad movies in them. For example, uh, Jason X. <laughs> uh, I Rob dubs that as his favorite comedy. Start. Oh good, I think you're in the right place. This is a nerd channel, after all. So. You love Jason X? I mean, it had some cool moments. Um, like the hologram camping sequence with the sleeping bags. Or the like, nitro freeze stuff that shattered the, the one lady, lady's face. Um, that was pretty cool. Ranking the Saw franchise films. Yeah, that would be that would be a fun task. The sleeping bag scene was hilarious. It was. That needs to be uh, a, a gif for the channel. I'm just do that looping over and over again. Uh, See No Evil with Kane in Nightmare on Elm Street. Dream Warriors is a good one. See No Evil is pretty good. Uh, they made a sequel to that. I don't remember it much, and I don't remember it being good, so. The cheesy horror film might be the one, yes. Ladder! Will! The icon has the ladder first! Black Christmas. Uh, that's been remade twice now, I think, if not three times. So, uh, Emma, which one? There was one like 15 years ago, there was one the last few years, and then there was one like 40 years ago. PTSD. Ty has the first opportunity here, scaling the ladder to get his belt back. The House is October Belt movies. I don't know if I've seen those. The Icon dumping the champion off the ladder. The Icon has a cha chance at the championship. There are four of them. Yeah, I knew there were a few. <coughs> you watch as a teen, it seemed newish. So you probably watched the one from a decade or so ago then. Uh, it was probably one of the remakes at that time. Um, but it was remade within the last few years again recently. The Icon has the belt in hand again. Death Proof is really good. I enjoyed that. I love uh, Grindhouse stuff. Tight, top of the ladder. The Icon dumped off. Adam trying to take... Tied down, he removes the ladder. You believe Martin Ghost and Demons that you crazy people getting blown up and survive with five more movies? <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Yeah, the new Black Christmas I heard was not good. I'm trying to find the most scariest horror house in it. Wow. Children of the Corn is great. I just uh, recently picked up uh, that on a 4K remaster. This week, actually, I have it with me. <laughs> so. Texas Chainsaw. 
fantastic series. I, I have most of those. Ladder removed from Payne and Ty from Bear there. Oh no, not the attic. The infamous freaky attic. Freddy vs. Jason is good. I thoroughly enjoyed that. It was a movie I never thought we'd get, and we got. And it, it delivered on what it needed to do. You never go wrong with Jessica Biel, now you can't. Ty trying to use the ladder as a weapon, unable to do so, but he picks up Bear. But it's him down. We should do another Freddy vs. Jason, but add, like, Jeepers Creepers Leatherface. You know, there was a comic that had him going against Ash from the Evil Dead. Um, and I think there was a conversation on making that into a film, but that never happened. Jeepers Creepers was good. And the third one was okay. See, there's Irob, as I mentioned. I was waiting for him to chime in and say that. But what do we have here? A replay? They're replaying what? What did we, what did we replay? The Adam and Payne or the ladder grab? Ray Mysterio did stunts from Freddy vs. Jason? Really? Deep Blue Sea? Um, I mean, I guess like Jaws is considered horror. So I guess. I don't know, like, the deep stuff, I don't know, like, the piranha is considered horror, so, I mean, yeah. Jurassic Park, is it? Or Thriller? Is it horror? I guess it's horror, it's pretty scary. Pain with the championship opportunity. Adam can't get the ladder. Pain could be your new champion here. Bring the pain. Keep in mind, too, the people winning championships tonight, you will be defending them on Taboo Tuesday next Tuesday. <laughs> so next Tuesday, Taboo Tuesday, all the belts are on the line. Everything is at random. I'll be drawing from a random number generator and filling the card. It'll be filling the contestants as well as the match types. You can have everything from a 1v1 all the way up to a Royal Rumble for a title. Dingus, that felt good. Tonight is your night, Here sir. Is your all hail, Pain! Ball Brawl, episode 418, and mark that down as the night that came to his chin. Let's do the prediction outcome here. Will the champ retain? 82% said no. I did not retain. It's all about the game. And yes, Dingus, speedy recovery, my friend. This is for you. Get better, obviously. You need the champ at 100%. Our second elimination chamber coming up next. Money in the bank. Somebody come up with a prediction idea for me. Thunder says, let's go Thorn. Will Mark win, says Bullet. That's what we'll go with. Will Mark win? Yes or no? Uh, Twist Championship was just before this. Tane is your new Twist Champion. 24, you are on deck for that title opportunity. Your opportunity is coming up. Uh, we go in order of redemption. You're guaranteed a Twitch Championship opportunity, but we just have to get through the redemptions before you first. But you will be getting your match, guaranteed. Jurassic Park is educational. 
Don't recreate dinosaurs. Don't hide in a toilet that made of straw. This is throwing sticks. Stick stupid. Yeah, no wonder why you're all extinct. I freaking love that movie. So, if you ever, if we ever do trivia night again, and it's regarding uh, how much you know about each other, jot this down. My favorite movie of all time is Jurassic Park. That's a fun fact that most people know. Oh no, the danger! And Mark starting things off in this match. The famous are right off the bat. Horror trivia night, there we go. Yes, Jurassic Park is so good. So good. I overlook its many plot holes, but it is so good. Even the book is good. Spielberg, man. So, so here's the thing, Mark. I know you're discouraged starting off as first. I'll have you know, and you should know, a majority of the elimination chambers have by one, have been won by people starting the match. You just made the list! Tony King with the sub. You. Yeah. Sending their sub through November. You guys can stack those things too, you guys know. So thank you so much, Cody. Getting yourself another entry there. It's, number, it's a new top ten. The book is better, so Trevor. Most books are. Rated number two. Well, technically number three, I guess. You never figured out how to extend the sub? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know either. How to extend? Sounds uh, hard. Lana with the first. Where you been? I meant to be all knowing. Mm, I wish. I'm not one of those people that try to say they have the answer for everything, but really don't. I'm just honest. I'm going to tell you if I have the answer, and I'm going to tell you if I don't have the answer. And I don't have the answer. The Chucky TV show. You know, here's the thing. Why, like, they did the Scream show, they did the Purge TV show. Does Chucky need a TV show? I, I don't know, you know. Is it going to be good? Isn't that on, like, cable? I don't know, man. I don't know how I feel. Thorn is the next entrant. I know stuff about Cody that not many know. Maybe. I don't know who all knows what I know. That you know. That we know. You know. I know you know. Pinfall attempt. Broken out. Two there. The Chucky TV show is a prequel. Oh. I don't know how I feel about it. I'll watch it, but again, I'm like not hype on it. Power crabs from Mark kicks out a two. Big Ben has arrived. Time knows how to bake cookies. Did you make the dough yourself? Or is it pre-made? It's after Cult of Chucky. So now you got me confused. You make the dough yourself. Look at you, my bacon boy. Patty cake, patty cake. Cookies more. Yeah. That's right. You know how to eat cookie dough. I'm really good at that one. Substructure there goes Mark. You can only extend subs on mobile. That seems like a design flaw. You take for everyone. International shipping might be expensive for food. Wolf pack. Oh. Use the hobbies baking and cleaning. 
both are useful. All six men in the match now. We got Bang Bang in it. Pinfall attempt on Wolf. Wolf on Wolf action. <laughs> Sorry, that amused me. Big Ben trying to destroy the knee of Rated. Two count there only. Trevor Chair on Rated, of course, fellow member of Black and White NOW. Two count there. Big clothesline from Kaz. Pinfall time time danger. Two count again. Speaking of the NOW podcast, do we have a uh, date in mind for you guys' this next podcast? I'm assuming it's going to be talking about current events as well you just as made the, the list. Uh, Extreme Rules pay-per-view. Emma, thank you. Thank you for the resub. Time two. A competitor has been eliminated. As Wolf was eliminated, we had a sub from Emma. Thank you so much. You get your wonderful picture up in the corner of the screen there, too. Wolf back. Five remain. Money in the bank on the line in this one. Who's going to walk out? Dangerous men in this match right now. Especially for the NAW champion. They should be watching closely. However, the wild card here is, of course, rated if he wins it and if Cody retains. We saw how they handled the briefcase prior. Tokens? What are tokens? What are my tokens? I'm confused. Token what? Oh, two and a half there. Coupons. What you got coupons for? Your brain's crying and screaming. What happens? The cars bang bang is token. <laughs> no. Uh, Andre Cosmo and Mobile. Really? Man. Thorn powerbomb to outside onto this steel structure. He said you already know. <laughs> Man. <laughs> Pinfall times on Mark. Two count there from Thorne. A lot of big men in this match. That's how you need help. We all need help. Pinfall times on Thorne from Kaz. Oh, two and a half. Look about Channing. This is awesome. The refresher is delayed. Pinfall sent for Mark and Rated. Rated eliminated. How sweet it is. Yeah. Hi, Rated. Hi. Mark with a cutter on Big Ben. Pinfall attempt. The big man in trouble. Wow, Mark on a tear. Like I said, the men that start the match generally end up winning. This could be Mark's night to become money in the bank. Mark, have you been money in the bank before? I can't remember. Pinfall attempt on Thorn for Mark. Kicks on it too. Keep a close eye on Bang Bang though, Mr. Kaz. That's my man right there. Is never. Oh, dangerous spot to be. Oh my god, on the steel. Thorn. Look at look at Kaz rushing in. A competitor. Thorn eliminated after being eliminated. spiked into the steel. Alana, you did not. You're up pretty quick. Yeah, 
Zach. Mark is on an absolute tear right now. However, Kaz, get him! Pin, pin, pin! Oh, yeah. Let's go. Spear! Mark is down, cover! Come on! One, two, three. One, two, three. Bang, bang, baby! Money in the bank! I know you like to see it. Was the wolf pack in the house with that one? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Come on, touch tips. Touch, touch, touch. Thorn, the office doors are always open. Let's talk, my friend. Here is your winner. Yes, Jolly. Thank you. Look at that. Ah, oh, yes. Oh, man. Tonight is the night for you, sir. There it is. Hey. Yes, sir. Bang, bang, for life. Bang, banging it. Everybody tonight, we're bang, banging it. And if you're not bang, banging it tonight, you're not even trying. Mark says, I'll just eliminate everyone for you. You did. Thank you, Mark. Everyone thank Mark. Because he did a great job for Mr. Cox here tonight. 76% said Mark will not win. Yeah, Thorn, I mean, what can I say? They saw your post. They're targeting you. Do we have the guest commentator joining us? Hello. Hello. Ah, can you hear him? You might have to speak up. I'm just setting everything up right now. All right. Our next contest is for the DNA Championship. Wicked tie. Uh, will tie retain is the question. Let's get this set up. Were you born for greatness? <laughs> no formal champions? Oh, Thorn wants a word with management. He is not pleased with the outcome. He's especially not pleased with the booking of that match, Cody King. Well, he's the only one that's unhappy, so... You know, you can't make everybody happy. They no. do say that. It's true. These are facts. From Cody. I, I never once agreed to no former champions. Uh, that was something that Mr. Midnight And the majority... Majority of the match was no former champions. We've had a lot of champions. If I didn't know former champions, there'd be people that aren't watching right now in that match. That's facts. just how it works. Facts. Bullet says this show has been great. There you go, look at that. Thank you, I appreciate that. Lana asked us with the music. What's wrong with the music? Pretty facts on Thursdays. You, uh, you're set. Okay, let me. Um, do, you, do you have your green screen or are you. I mean, I can try to put the green screen, but you know my gaming chair. Oh, yes. Big ben yes, wants hold to on. Shot. Let me. I mean, I can attempt. Let me see if I can get you framed in here, huh? Where are you at? It's just not going to fit on the chair that I'm using. No worries. I just got to get your face on the screens. I, I think either, either three or four people in that match were not champions. Only, only two or three were champions. Ah! You cropped, we cropped your face. Oh, oh, hello, in the center of the screen. Hello. Look at that. Let's put you, where should we put you? That's a great question. 
Sweet. I'll to just put you up in the corner. I'm just watching creepy. <laughs> Hello. Just look down on everything. Oh, I don't need to look this way. Like. <laughs> that would be perfect, too. <laughs> oh, I was looking at Ty's butt. My bad. Hey, who isn't? My bad. Uh, can you possibly share your screen on Discord so I don't have a lag from watching on... Um... Um, you see? You're making me do so much work. You see what I do for you? I mean, there's like a four second lag if uh, if I go about it just on my uh, my browser. When we got picture in picture tie now. Look at that. That looks amazing. Hey, hey yeah. <laughs> Look at this. First time ever picture in picture tie. So beautiful. We got to see it twice. <laughs> Somebody clip that. Look at that. Picture picture of time. Oh, enjoy this. That's actually perfect picture in picture right there. Dude, I, I couldn't have framed it better. That was accidental. Where are you? Love it. Let's find out where you are. You're way On the way other way. side of the screen, yep. That's alright. We We're getting there. things on the fly because that's... Fuck it, we're doing it live, right? That's how we do. Introducing the challenger from Honolulu, Hawaii, weighing in at there we go. He's back. Pounds, hello, Jesse hello. Oh, okay. Just in time, too, again, at DNA Championship match. Introducing the Episode champion. Episode 418, Fall Brawl Baltimore, here, Maryland, brought to you by weighing this man in at 250 pounds. He is the Looking down on champion. everything. He, he's, he's the king. He thinks he's better. He has to be higher up on the screen. I did not. Presence. I did not do this. You did this. Oh, you told me what to do. I had to listen. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> Thousand bit donation. Hip hip. Yowie wowie. Hooray. Give that. Put him back down. By Lana wants us to kiss. We did that before, and it doesn't yeah, look the same that. with uh, with no green screen. And 500 bit donation, hip hip. Okay. Thank you so much for that. You are, as of right now, uh, the leader, and it is the end of the month. Um, it's a safe bet. Can I ask you, what is your first pick? <laughs> what do you want as your prize? Uh, well, you see, I am going to be taking the pay-per-view, but I am going to be gifting the pay-per-view. Interesting. A twist of events. I did not expect you to say that. Yes, so sir. So I, in turn, will get nothing. Um, but that's okay. Are you willing to share who you're gifting it to, or is that later? That is up to the universe. I want to give it to somebody who has never done a pay-per-view or a special. Um, keep it fresh. The only thing that I ask is for um, the booking of one match, which will will be the NAW Championship match. So it is a little flawed, but that's uh, that's how we're going to do it. I mean, that and it will, fair. if I lose tonight, I will not be the one that challenges. So. I, I will make that decision on my own. Bullet has been the first one to chime in, saying they would love to host a pay-per-view. And I will be making a poll for it as well. So it'll be the universe being able to select an individual. Keep in mind, too, <laughs> Bullet's birthday month is October. True, you got a point. Now that I'm trying to sway any deciding factors for the universe here. He did host one. That is true. Bullet did at that the wrong time. He did time get of one. Debut. Yes, they did have a GM show. GM shows count. Yes, GM shows and pay-per-views are technically one in the yep, same. Yep, they're the same thing. I want to do somebody that has never hosted a show before. Lana says I'm quiet compared to Cody. Now you're too loud. Since when are you loud? You're never that loud. Let me adjust that. Let me know if that makes any difference. I'll turn him down just a little. 
I don't know if it will, but. Rated has messaged you. <laughs> Rated, you can't chat with us here? We're family. What's the secret? We want to know his secrets. What is the black box in the bottom left? What black box? The gift of Jericho. Drink oh, it in, man. Time the F out, ladies and gentlemen. 5,000 bit donation. Yes, sir. From Rated Hip Hip. Hooray! Hooray! And Coney with 1540. That's such a unique number. Yeah. It's hooray! So <laughs> what we're trying to do, we are officially less than 1300 away. So if the universe combined does another 1300, we have the giveaway, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, okay. Another 1300. So me and Rated, we just uh, got the bulk of that. So where there's uh, less than 1300 left. Uh, 1300 isn't a crazy amount. Um, I know everybody doesn't have the means to do 1300, but if uh, you can put anything in, make that closer to the goal, we're going to have our giveaway here shortly. Jolly says, Dion, everybody's. T shot, holy cow. T shot in chat right now. How you doing, man? It's been a minute. Oh, we have to we have to touch tips. Let's, there you go. It's from me and Kaz. We can't we can't say why. Oh, okay. T shot, uh, what's up, man? How you been? That's a Hall of Famer right there, Cody. Respect. I'm I'm also a Hall of Famer. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so yes, for those that don't know, um, that the middle of the screen there is indeed our next giveaway for a console. Um, we are 98.78% fulfilled in that giveaway. Uh, you do have the choice of an Xbox Series S, Series X, a PS5, or digital, a title belt under 500, or other. 100-bit um, donation from Batman. Hip, hip, hooray. Thank you for that. Hooray. And... Um, as an other example I have for you guys, we did a Switch bundle, which, if you know anything about the Nintendo Switch, it is like $300. So we said to give it a comparative price point from like a Series X, which is $500, we included a couple games and made it up to $500 for their prize. So that is an option. But again, the prize winner will work with us on fulfilling that prize if they're interested. T-Shot says, doing well. Trying to get your life straightened out, start a new job, saving something up for the girlfriend to receive soon. Oh, very exciting, man. Stay focused is my best advice. Just like John Cena, never give up. Cliche, but it's true. It is true. DNA Championship continues here, Extreme Rules. We are less than 1,200 away. 500 bit donation from Ty. There it is, hit, Ty. Hit. There we go. Hooray! Hooray. Yeah. We are just over 600. We are 622 bits away from our giveaway, and Ty picks up the win and retains his DNA championship. Oh, he's getting the hell out of there, though. I would too with Wicked. And there's the remaining. We are at 100% rated with 622. I rob with 100. Hip, hip. Hooray. Hey, and into the hype train. I wish they came a little bit earlier. We just did a lot of bits here in the past uh, little bit. Oh, that's level four completed. We were already in the hype train. Look at that. We are 19% through the level five hype train, which is the final hype train. Get us through this level. Come on, let's get it. And 122%. Let's go. From Thunder, hip, hip. Hooray! Yeah, you guys are incredible. So Final level. With that, when should we do the raffle? Should we do it on Taboo Tuesday? Or do you want to save it for an episode that we're on together? How do you want to do this? Mm, that's a good question. 
That's a really good question. Cause uh, we we could do a taboo Tuesday, or we could save it for the the first episode of the uh, the horror. Eight hundred seventy-eight bit donation from Ray. Another hooray and a hundred from, from Emma. Emma. Hip 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 hooray. Bola says do the giveaway on the post show. Oh, we'd have to set everything up for that. Yeah, I don't, I'd have to count out because I have to go through everybody's entries and figure out how many people donated 100 bits or values of 100 to make sure everyone has the appropriate entries for the raffle. Uh, that'll take me about a day to do. So. We are 45% away from the level 5 hype train being completed. Getting all the way. Choo choo. Batman says whenever is best. So I'll work with Cody on it. And I want to make sure that obviously, Cody, if you want to be on the show when we do it, such like this, or if it's a different show that we're doing, or if we want to do a special, we'll figure something out. But yeah, absolutely. We have completed it. We'll and talk. 200 more from all Up Rosie. to 61%. Hip hip. hip hip hooray! Man, you guys, you guys are incredible. Doing things tonight. We're doing things. Let me switch the prediction poll here. Will Ty retain? Forty-four percent said yes. So let's do this. Tag team championship on the line. Who will win? N O W or Wolfpack? The feud just won't end. We got another here. 100 bit donation from Dingus. Hip, hip. Hip, hip. Hooray. Hooray. Thank you for that. Man. You guys are killing it. I'm speechless. Like, this is this is great. I uh, I get so excited to be able to give away things like this. And uh, it, it's, it's just so great. We've given away four consoles so far. Four. That alone is over $2,000 in prizes we've given away. You, in a 12-hour stream, earned almost $2,000 for charities. The fact that we have given, as a channel right there, over $4,000 away to charity and community members. $4,000 plus, because we're talking about other merch. 100-bit donation from Emma. Hip, hip. All right. We're talking about, you have gotten a watch in the past. So many people got merch. Other people got games. We gave away multiple copies of um, 2K20. I'm sorry, but we did. <laughs> um, we did. I actually got one of those copies. And shout out to Wicked for helping us support and fund that. Um, it, it's incredible. I mean, we're talking probably at least $5,000 in prizes we've given to you guys. That is money that any other channel could have kept for themselves, could have done whatever they want with, could have upgraded their computer could have been selfish but we have given back to each one of you because we care about our viewers that much we care about good causes and charities that much so um again every time we fill one of these things up i, I just kind of get uh you know sentimental about it it's, it's uh it's a great feeling 105 bit donation from i rob hip hip hooray and we have 10 seconds left on the hype train we're at 72 percent T-Shot still has their DNA shirt. That's see, that's incredible. Yeah, I, I just wore my Nulls Rig shirt uh, the other day. We do have a ton of new merch items too. If you guys ever want to get the new logos, we do have them on hats, hoodies, and shirts. Exclamation point merch! If you guys want to stock up for the fall season for yourselves. Choo choo choo! Yeah. Oh, here's the bad boys. Bad boys, faux life. Tice is captain and Trevor giving villain club vibes. Yeah, I, I vaguely remember that group. It was a thing. <laughs> I like this arena because you're actually not walking down on the crowd. Look at that. Wolfpack, loud and clear, who, who is supported here. Oh, 
50 bit donation from Dingus Hip Hip. Hooray. These guys are incredible. <laughs> speechless. They left me speechless. That's so, the goal at the end of the day, right? I mean, yeah. Forever grateful. These are memories that hopefully we'll all cherish and look back on. Oh, you're missing the oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. So quick poll, chat. If you were the one that won the raffle, what prize would you pick? Let me know. Do we put WWE Legends in our universe mode? Uh, we have. We did a storyline over the summer that featured uh, not legends, but uh, some of the top talents from the best organizations out there, like AEW being the best of all time. Right, Cody? Uh -huh. <laughs> Sorry, I just want to fit in. That's understandable. Everybody wants to be a part of the cool thing. I do. I want to be on your podcast so bad, so I, I have to start liking that. <laughs> Our next podcast is actually going to be on Extreme Rules. No AEW involved, so it is. Which was that's a, good, a thing. Good pay per view until uh, the end. I'm sure you'll have many words about that. Uh, so we got PS5, Xbox, Xbox all the way, uh, Xbox or Switch, and Xbox. You can tease Cody that you have two. <laughs> I still can't find one. Oh no. Still working on my on my uh my my one. It's all right. It gets the job done. It gets the job done. We'll find one. You have a controller on the way in October, so. I do. I do I have the, the beautiful needler? I want good pictures of that so we can post it on our Instagram. Do you want me to do a photo shoot? I'll go to like I'll go to a, like a fall park and um, yes, if, if you would. take pictures on pumpkins and stuff like that. So we need a photo shoot for our OnlyFans account of you wearing just the controller. Calm down. Like like Shawn Michaels with like the title? With the, yes, you get it. You like get, he gets on, it. On, on Playgirl? Yeah, I'm down. He gets it, all right. So follow us on OnlyFans for the, the Needler the controller photo ring. shoot. Needler next to a Needler. Oh. You're not shooting blanks. You're not shooting blanks, though, so that's good. I'm not. I'm not. To baby number three on the way. Breaking news. The yes, sir. It got posted on Facebook today. It got announced today to the world, so I'm allowed to say it now. Baby number three is on the way. No, no. Cheery dibs. You guys are terrible. Cheer, 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 cheer. <laughs> you can cheer, cheer for yeah. that. <laughs> there you uh, go. Congrats, congrats for coming in. Yes, yes. Thank you all. Thank you all. I appreciate it. Ty also with a compliment. He says the controller is not covering that up. <laughs> I guess it depends on how you lay the controller. The Xbox <laughs> controllers are pretty beefy. No comment. <laughs> Here we go, I Rob Smile starting the match. Tag Team Championship on the line. It is Fall Brawl. This is our 418th episode. It's crazy. 418. Some of y'all been around since the double digits. Congrats, Cody. Yep. And to think, we were gonna call it quits in episode 100. Look what mm -hmm. we've done. Look what we've done. <laughs> Look what we've made. Making babies and making making this show. That's right. Honestly, like I'm just anxious for 22 to come out because as much as 19 has been great to all of us, uh, it's time for a new creation suite and updated stuff. Please. I will say that this is this is going to be the second DNA baby since uh, since the NAW has started. Yes. So Theo was born during NAW's run. Mm-hmm. And now number three for you. Mm-hmm. Good lord. And Theo is almost two and a half. <laughs> yeah. Oh no. <clears throat> Hold on. Trevor with a great 
contest. Would you agree to this? No, names are already picked out. Oh. <laughs> name name for both genders is already picked out. I think that's a great prize. Because I can only imagine, be based ridiculous. on some of your guys' character names, what you would come up for his child's name. Yeah. <laughs> Lil John? It should be Lil John. And everyone just has to greet him with an okay. Yeah. Okay. Smiles and gravity now legal in this contest. I keep forgetting we do have a pay-per-view to call here. That's what happens when I'm here. It becomes a party. Oh, what is this? Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa! See? Come on. Referee is just allowing this? He's watching. He is just watching. This is your pay-per-view, but damn. I didn't think it'd be like that. Oh my god, two and a half. Come on. In the name of Mickey Minaj? Yeah, Jolly, you make a fantastic point. Mr. Kaz has been banned from ringside for far less behavior. Uh, he had to go to the bathroom. Calm down. He did have to go potty. He had to go potty. That, he wasn't kicked out. He was allowed to go potty. And the ref said, go, go, go. That's why he waved his arms so frantically to get him out of there. Yeah, he said, he said, just go potty. We got more double team moves. The referee is not doing anything in this match. Uh, sir, you're, you are allowed five seconds after a tag. Are you, though? You are. Mm. That was more than five. Did well, you, by the way, you count. One, two, three, four, five. How do you count? Um, oh, God, here we go. Normal. Yeah, ten if we go to AEW. We Trevor get ten just seconds. reversed the Destroyer. As he should. Shenanigans. Absolutely. This is not a restaurant. Isn't that Bennigan's? Uh, well, on the movie Just Waiting, it was Shenanigans. Was that really the name? Yeah. It's been a minute since I've seen that. They're the ones with all the flair. Trevor manhandling me now. Normally I'd be okay with it, but not for the titles. Reverse on the corner. Cutting the ring back in half. Oh, the referee is down. Oh, oh, look at that. Of course he is. While I'm Convenient. in their corner. Yeah. No, they're not even they're waiting for the ref to get up. They're being honorable. Yeah, but look at Camden watching. They're plotting something he's evil. He's just he's just checking checking out your uh, stitching on your on your tights there. Mm-hmm. He's trying to figure out uh, who you go to to get those things stitched up. Or how I fit into those pants. Because I'm a thick Got boy. that donk. Yeah, okay. Got that donk. They were talking about cookie dough earlier, okay? I had to have some. Yeah. And then some turned into the whole container. And then hopefully, whole hopefully container. it was edible. I don't, uh, I don't know. I don't care. Reversal. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully you don't get salmonella. Yeah, you know. Could be worse things. Mm. Come on, get it, get it. Destroyer. Trevor's down. Pinfall. One, two, three. See, that was a slow count for me. <laughs> and here we go. Pinfall time for the Tag Team Championship. One, two, to retain! No, sir. Um, referee, could you count any slower? I Rob tag, now legal man against Trevor here. Hey, why am I exiting? I had five seconds. You did have five seconds. Why am I slow? Don't Great question. Don't answer that question. <laughs> Reversal here from Irob. Oh, chop block taking out the knee. Stomping down. Then. He's got Cotton Eye Joe stuck in his head. Where did he come from? Where did he go? See? Well, the answer we'll never have. Yeah, not, 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 no. <laughs> you guys have that stuck in your head now. I hope. And I hope it just keeps playing on a loop while you're trying to sleep. Bull is willing to, to verse any member of NWO Hollywood at Taboo Tuesday. 
with the fans picking the match type. Well, damn. Trevor said he was aiming for the midsection, but he couldn't get high enough. <laughs> little, little twitch going on. Ooh, uh, what uh, is uh, happening? Uh, uh, Smiles uh, is broken. Uh, uh, no! Uh, uh. Referee, this is BS. This is absolute BS. Yeah, you're trying to get in. He's distracted. Stop trying to get in the ring. Are you kidding me right now? You were trying to get in the ring. I don't know what to tell you, man. You, you did that to yourself. This is BS. Thank you. Oh, yeah, get down off me. Try to get that in my face. What's she doing? Mr. Frowns. Get up. Do something. Hi, Rob. Man. Oh, hell no. Referee, I am not the legal man. What the hell? You, you might want to go, go get that stitched up. Oh, Hi, Rob, we're early not celebrating. Winning. Why are you celebrating? Well, a little, a little early there. Oh, this is a mess. <clears throat> Hi, Rob. No. No. Ooh, kick there. No. Mm -hmm. I caught it. I don't know why you tried to get in the ring. I don't. I don't understand. Like you, I don't waste all these people's time bitching and moaning and bitching. Have fun at Taboo Tuesday. And bitching 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 and bitching. And by the way, two weeks from now, eight tag teams will be competing in a tag team tournament in Mexico. Two weeks from tonight. And yes, Cody, you're in that tournament with Rado. So Interesting. You could be facing your own teammates here. It's like that. It happens. Do you think they might have intergender matches in 2K22 instead of mix? No. I don't see that happening in a WWE game, to be honest with you. No. I am going to switch over to the predictions. Your face is going to be gone. Wow, the voting was close on this. 51% said NOW. That was close. Not bad. Uh, you already explained your cooking compare. How is Taboo Tuesday working? Uh, so Taboo Tuesday, this upcoming Tuesday night, to add clarity to that, I'm utilizing a random number generator app. I've already assigned everyone from the roster a number 1 through 100 from all my created wrestler downloads. Also, every match type is assigned a number, and the championships are assigned a number. You tried. Valiant effort. You got me when I was like in the zone. Exciting. I know. I was, <laughs> I was waiting. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's that's basically the gist of how that'll work. Everything is done by a random number generator, and nobody will be booked twice unless you're a champion going into it. You could have an opportunity to get a shot at a belt. Everyone is eligible, but not everyone will be able to get booked, unfortunately. So it's all random, and that is how Taboo Tuesday is going to work. I'll be announcing the matches before they happen for each match. I'll be doing it in advance, and I'll be announcing them during my cooking show segment, which will be also pre-taped, and it'll be airing during the show. So on Tuesday, you're gonna see me cooking um, Flamin' Hot Cheeto Mac and Cheese while drinking Flamin' Hot Mountain Dew. That is the thing that's happening. That was because of you guys. There's 50 subs to the channel, so thank you again for that. Uh, let's set up our next contest. Oh! Oh, two stars going at once. My brain can't comprehend. That was a lot. It was the, don't you la da 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 da, shy away. Weird remix. It didn't work in my brain. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time for the NAW Championship. Princess Emma returns to the ring with a makeover. And we have. 
the reigning, defending women's champion. Hold on, should we do it together? Let's let's do this. Who is it? B M B. You guys, <laughs> you guys better have done it at home with us, because that's yeah, you should have. Emma B M B. Who will win the women's championship? Predictions live. Yeah, Ty yeah. did a good bit of this. He did a good bit of this update. Yeah. So there you go. For life. Start a fire. You know, fun fun story about that actually, Oroshi. Um, one of the first series I did was ten episodes on The Sims Four, where I created members ah! of. Uh, got him. We got him. We got us. Got him. Um, where we created members of the DNA channel at that time in The Sims, and my character was cooking macaroni and cheese, go figure, and uh, I had to restart the game twice Four because life. I burned the house down and I killed myself. Nice. So, yeah. So there's a bit of history there with cooking macaroni and cheese for The Sims. You can check that out on, on our YouTube archive. It's good, good yeah, Emma, Emma got a new character, and uh, she never needed you at all. Damn. Was that good? Was that good? It's pretty good. I'm, I'm it was our own. child. Emma's call was our child. <clears throat> or is our child. And Trevor, I, w I will not burn things down in real life. I can't promise because accidents happen, but you know. You said the sound's gone? Where'd the sound go? We lose sound? We better not lose sound. Just for him. No, Raiden, I'll never stop. Can't stop, won't stop. She never needed you at all. We still got our big main event coming up next. Stick with us. Cody the King. Styles, the challenger. Two out of three falls. Oh, she does the spin too. Look at her. Look at her. Look at her now. Yeah, she's she's a cheetah turtle. She's getting paper. Little, little cheetah turtle vibes to it. BMB. The reigning defending champion. She has been dominant in the women's division, especially in her solo career here. You may know her as a member of KFC, but she is a standout talent as a singles competitor. Sparks still trying to break through that Emma, mold. Emma is not allowed to hit a pregnant woman, so... Um, How's this match going to go? <laughs> you know Lana uh, competed hopefully. while pregnant, though, so... That, that's true. That's true. She was very, very pregnant competing. Still waiting for Lacey Evans to show up very pregnant, and you know... That's true. She posted pictures on Instagram. She she's towards the end. That's for sure. She is towards the end, and that woman scares me. She is so badass. And uh, Ronda Rousey had her baby, and um, she did. How do you pronounce the name? Yep. No. I'm not even gonna try. Okay. Does any? Oh, I guess it's all text. It wouldn't do me any good here. <laughs> Just, I'm not gonna attempt it. Uh, I'm terrible yeah. pronunciations. And, uh, yeah, me and Ty were actually trying to figure it out last night, and we put it on a bunch of different um, like text-to-speech things, and not nothing could do it. It said error 404. <laughs> <laughs> Introducing the champion from Saratoga Springs, New York. Reddit says that's she how you say it. The women's she talked about world champion. The queen. Ty says that title the looking good. King. Yeah, thank you. I'm pretty happy with my updates. It is Hawaiian. It's very, very Hawaiian. But just because it's Hawaiian doesn't mean I would know how to say it. 
Now is he Hawaiian? Because she's yes, he is. He is Hawaiian. Okay, because I was going to say she's not. That it's it's the middle name that nobody can pronounce. That thing's like twenty seven letters long. Right. Lacey Evans, she'll be backstage at SmackDown. I mean, she's very pregnant. and She's not going to do any segments. <laughs> imagine. <laughs> no, I don't want to imagine. Could you? I, she, does no. a, she does a Canadian destroyer and goes into labor. Oh God. Yeah, I mean, Ty, we know that much. It's the middle I think name. you forgot an A. It's La Akia. Yeah. I think it's L A A K E A. I mean, it's a cool name. I'm not discounting that or, like, saying anything in regards to that, but, like, I just don't know how to say it. Nice leapfrog action here. Pretty even matchup between these two. Of course, Emma being a former champion. She wants the belt back. Bullet says Bray might be back in WWE. You know, at this point, I was almost as sure as I was with Punk debuting when he did that Bray was going to debut last night, and he didn't. Um, so I'm not so sure anymore, to be honest, where and when he's going to arrive. I still think he's not coming back to WWE, is my opinion on it. But he's been pretty vocal on, on Twitter. I think he's still going to be in AEW. I just think that that was not the night for it. No. Uh, Bischoff Which had I, some really good it. points on his podcast about that, too, that they need to start spreading these moments out so they can give their talents room to breathe, and I agree 100% with him on that. But, I mean, who knows? You know, wherever Bray wants to go, let him... Find happiness wherever it ends up. Uh, that's the point. It'd be selfish of us to resent that just because we enjoyed the Fiend character. Uh, Leo Rush. Yeah. <laughs> I made that comment last night. Uh, I was like, going. who cares if he's back? He's going to retire for the fifth time before he's 27. Didn't? Couldn't he not compete anymore? Because I thought he got hurt. He said... He said that when he got home, he, he couldn't pick up his, his newborn child, so he didn't want to wrestle anymore. And then now he's back. Bro. Um, he has retired, I believe, four times, and he is 26 years old. I, you know, I don't care for the guy. I don't think he's all that great. Plus, I just don't like the little flippy guys. I'm sorry. It's not my thing. It's not my style of wrestling. Oh, little flippy guys. The little flippy guys. Not a, not a fan. The spot wrestlers, if you will. Hmm. It's not my thing. What if you're What if you're a, a standard size flippy guy? Spot wrestlers, not my thing. Oh, so like Seth Rollins isn't your thing? He's he's okay. He's he's considered a high flyer. He's okay. But he's also six two six three. He's okay. Kenny and Megas the same way. He's okay. Stop it. <laughs> Action continuing on the outside of the ring here. <laughs> BMB in control of Princess Emma. Nice spin there. Uh, loved Jeff Hardy though. Loved it. Past tense, I love. Past tense. Leo Rush reminds me the kid who would try and say times out as soon as they about to get the tag. <laughs> yeah. Batman says no chance Bray's coming back to WWE. He's going to AEW. He just needs the right time. Yeah, I agree with that. I don't think he'll come back to WWE. I think there are a bunch of hopefuls. Yeah, there's a lot of hopefuls, but I, uh, he's been very vocal on Twitter. I don't think he's... I think he's going to AEW. I think that there was a chance because it was his best friend's hometown, but then again, a lot of people think that he's going to be the new leader of the Dark Order, but I don't think he wants to be like known as the guy that took Brody's spot, and Dark Order doesn't want a leader, so I don't think that's a good idea. I think uh, the smart thing to do for Bray is there's two other individuals that uh, do not have a home that could come with him, and Braun Strowman and Rowan, and you could bring your old faction back with a new look feel to it. Yeah, I mean, that seems like a logical move. 
Uh, it's familiar things. Um, AEW fans like familiar things. They went crazy for Matt Hardy and Christian, which we'd seen decades before. So they, they like familiar stuff. So um, who knows? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, getting the Wyatt family back out. I think that's the smartest movie to do. I don't. I don't think going with. It. He has signed with Impact, but so, if you didn't know, and you the Forbidden Door is wide open. Right, and that's what I was going to say. They, they partner with Impact. They have a lot of cross promotions. They just um, are working with Major League Wrestling now with mm -hmm. uh, uh, Fish. With the, challenge, yeah, with the challenge there for Sammy Guevara and him competing next week. Mm -hmm. So they're, they're opening all these doors uh, that was not previously something that WWE would ever open. So, Yeah, just because Braun signed with Impact, which hasn't been completely confirmed yet because he hasn't shown up. Um, yeah, just because he's over there doesn't mean that they can't. I mean, you see the Impact Tag Team Championships on AEW every single week with the right. brothers. As I'm saying, like the crossovers are rampant. Uh, that's why you see uh, the biggest concern that I had that I've brought up on your podcast before is how they're going to utilize these talents. Well, they're not going to book them all on AEW. They're going to book them elsewhere because they can't. Mm -hmm. That's how they resolve it. I think over time that's going to settle though and people are going to eventually go to other companies and stay with other companies. But as far as getting presence known and sharing like this is, is smart for all the companies. And it's what WWE should have done a long time ago, but they didn't. So, Big moonsault from the top rope from Princess Emma there. Moving out of the way, though, is BMB. Oof. What a kick. <clears throat> if you guys like wrestling talk, you guys have to check out the Nerds of Wrestling podcast hosted by Trevor and Cody here. We do archive everything on Spotify, Google, and Apple. There is a dedicated YouTube channel for Nerds of Wrestling as well. So if you ever miss an episode of that, check out those archives, give it a listen, comment, give your feedback, and then make sure you tune in every time they're live. And if you turn on notifications, you can see when they go live. They try to aim for Sundays, but because of scheduling sometimes, we all have other things, a lot of times, family stuff, um, it does change. But be flexible. It is worth listening to. And you guys seem to be interested in wrestling. You're here for this, so you should listen to that. Yes, the Nerds of Wrestling is the podcast. Two count there from BNB, but it is on the Dose of Nerd Acumen, Spotify, on Google, and Apple. It is part of that same feed. There is a bunch of different shows that air on that single feed. But the YouTube channel is Nerds of Wrestling, N-O-W. So if you search for that YouTube channel, give it a follow. It's also archived on the main DNA YouTube channel, too, if you don't know what searching. Mm -hmm. This has been a great match. Back and forth, incredible. We still have our big main event coming up next, too. Power Crab! Oh, power Crab! Two count there. Oof. Late in the match with a power crab, that that usually finishes it. Not enough. Emma though. fighting through. Not enough. To Just roll out. Princess. Like ludicrous. Roll out. No, nobody. For your time. Yeah, it's fine. I'm old. Leave me alone. That was like the '90s. <laughs> it's not the '90s. I mean, the early 2000s. Yeah. I wasn't. Just I wasn't a little that Cody. long ago. Just a little Cody. That was, that was something. Bullet listens to the podcast while playing PlayStation. Honestly, that's the best time. While you guys are doing stuff around the house, driving, playing games, check out an archive. Give it a listen. Honestly, head over to Spotify, Google, Apple. Subscribe to us right now, people. Get out your phone. Subscribe, whichever's your favorite. Google, Apple, Spotify. Follow us, subscribe. It's free. It's free content. Mm-hmm. Uh -oh. We're not the only wrestling podcast out there. Uh, but I can you, we're not the worst. There are a lot of real bad ones out there. There is a lot of real bad ones. Oh my. Emma here. BFB is in trouble. 
What does meaning end? Uh oh. Me to the face. Oof. Oh, two oh. and a half. Kick two point up. nine. Incredible. I thought the hand hit. How is BNB holding on? Uh oh. Oh no. Iris move. Oh, missile oh, drop dropped. kick to the back of the head. Jesus. The worst wrestling podcast is Ravens podcast. I've I've never listened to his podcast. I, I, I didn't know he had one. I was just saying I didn't know he had one. He's one of my favorites though. He's got such a insight on the industry though. He's been around forever. Mm -hmm. Roll there, two count. Right, almost got her with the possum move there. Both females back standing. Emma with the forearm, but misses the kick to the midsection for BMB. The size difference between these two. Emma. Emma grew. Emma did grow. She grew, she grew a little bit. But honestly, Brit Brit's just short. Okay. <laughs> she, she's five foot even, and uh, I think that Emma was was coming in at uh, anywhere from five six to five eight. I thought Emma was also. It looks short, a little. Though. It's a, a sh she was prior. She was okay. prior. But we 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 put a little bit more effort into into her. Um, so so yeah, she's she's how she wants to be now. A little bit of blowing kisses there from the champion going up top. Big high rest move this late in the match. This could be disaster. And it is. Oof. She sideswiped her mid-air. Emma, champion on the shoulders. This thing Ooh, has got to be over. Hit her with the GTS. Go to snack time. Go to snack time. <laughs> it's my favorite. The Amazonian princess. I mean, that's fine. I'm just saying that it's, it's interesting to see the growth in talent. <laughs> oh, what about what about the snapping turtle bite? The snapping turtle bite? Is that is that the snapping name? Turtle. Maybe maybe that's the name we should go with. I dig it. Gummy snack time break. I think Camden's in bed. We can't we can't talk about uh, fruit snacks. Yeah, he is in bed. Yeah. He's got he's got school in the morning. Yeah, same with mine. And then for those of you that are not aware, Emma's other finisher goes back to the best there is, the best there was, and the best there ever will be. It's the it's the sharpshooter. The shooter that is sharper. Than the mm -hmm. rest. Oh, dodging that! We got a dangerous position here for Emma to be, and that is exactly why. She catches a leg kick that captures your leg in the process. She's going to sweep you right down, and down she went. Now mounted strikes from the champion. This has been an absolute battle. And it's hard to believe that we still have our main event next. I don't know how they follow this. You can't. The women of NAW always deliver. Oof, backstab there from B and B. We get the bomb. Bombs on the on the screen from Zach. Only reason Ravens podcast is bad is because the co-host Vince Russo talks negative about wrestling. I mean, it's Vince Russo though. What do you want from him? <laughs> the man is poison to the business. <laughs> That's funny. And uh oh. Power bomb caught there. Emma kicked in the midsection. Single knee there. Beesh. Getting back up though. She is no selling. Move after move. She just will not stay down. Going for the pinfall. Pinfall time, yeah. Oh, I heard three. <laughs> that was three. Oh, again. That was three. You cannot write it any better than this. 
Uh-oh, going for the sharpshooter. I don't know, what's Meltzer give this match? She's got a lock. Oh! Britt breaks out of it. Oh, no. I don't know, are we, are we in the Tokyo Dome or not? Uh, no, I think this is San Francisco. <laughs> oh, yeah, 4.75. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Tokyo Dome, six. Yeah, six for sure. There, yeah. Uh oh, Brett locks oh, her finisher. She's gonna tap. She's gonna tap. This thing's over. No one breaks Finish out. Finish many with this. No one breaks out. Holding it for a while. It's a lot of pain to go through. Oh, she lets it go. Why? Oh my. Oh god. Do Going high risk? risk. No. Not at this point in the match. Don't do it. Oh my oh, god! Next. Holy shit! Somebody with the clip on that, please. But she is back standing after getting missile drop kicked from the oh, top wow. to the outside and gave her a jawbreaker. How is she standing? Those are back in the ring. This is incredible. The no cell goddess herself. This is awesome. This is awesome. Oh my. And still, reversal after reversal. Oh! oh. That kick was super. We've seen that set up the end of many. But no! Oh! Going high risk. Going high risk. Again. This is dangerous. Late. Uh oh. She's letting Britt stand up. But why? She can't take another. Oh my, catches her. Oh, she's caught. Power oh, bomb. Pinfall. Two. Three. Oh my god. Wow. Just give it up for him. Just give it up for him. That's it. Holy hell. A reversal midair into a bomb pinfall. That was incredible. No rope break, they said in chat. <laughs> well, there was no count out either, so it was no DQ. Extreme Rules was the name of the game. That is going up for MOY nominations ASAP. Let's get the prediction poll. On that one, that has been one hell of a contest. Emma, 93%. 93%. The champion retained, though. A lot of people just lost some, lost some money there. Woo! You guys should know. You guys should know not to, not to bet against Big Match Brit. They call her, they call her Big Match Brit for a reason. So, uh. When it comes to those crazy great matches, she's usually the one that, that comes out on top. Cody Fax on a Thursday again. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time for your main event of Fall Brawl, episode 418, brought to you by none other than Cody King. Who will win? Adam Styles. Your number one contender, the man that was robbed of his very championship, not by Cody, but of the goons in NOW themselves. I will say he did uh, he, he did kind of ask for it. You know, Smiles was the champion. I had the Money in the Bank briefcase. He did beat Smiles clean, respectable even. But after the match, he decided he wasn't done. And you know, when you have four other people that have Smiles' as back, that just wasn't the smartest thing to do. You should have known that the next time you came out and showed your face, that you were going to get attacked, and I was going to cash in. It was and that's not what happened. your briefcase. Uh, it, was, it was my briefcase. It was gifted to me. Gifted. Just like I'm gifting next month's pay-per-view to one of you. The following the life says I rob so are you going to say that the pay-per-view is not going to be to whoever I gifted to? It's not theirs? Technically. 
I got a I got a point. No. I got a point. No. Come on. You got a point there. Mm -mm -mm. Chat, what do you guys think? Was Styles robbed? I think so. Was he robbed, or was, or did he ask for it? You know, I was nice enough to say, hey, I I understand. It wasn't the cleanest. I did get you at your lowest point. But hey, the main event of a pay-per-view, not many people see this. So Styles, early in his career, gets to see the main event of a pay-per-view against a Hall of Famer. He should have been the defending champion at this pay-per-view. It, it is what it is. Regardless, this match would have happened. Uh, the title on his shoulder or on mine, it would have happened. Some say Rob. Look at that, look at that shirt. Bunch of, bunch of old, dude in ma old dudes in masks, if uh, my friend MGK might say. Can't respect those guys, right? Just wait and bleed. You would get the reference if you understood. Bullet says you're a Hall of Famer, Cody, and you're afraid of Bullet. Not afraid of anybody. I'm just not going to compete on uh, the performance center uh, as a Hall of Famer. Styles not says, something I'm willing Styles to do. MGK fan, so. <laughs> I'm also an MGK fan. He's not going to oppose you on that one, I guess. <laughs> I don't think it had the same effect, though, if he was wearing an MGK shirt instead of a Slipknot shirt. But hey, who that's, knows? That's true. That's true. I saw Slipknot in concert 21 years ago. They were still wearing the same mask. No, they weren't. They changed their masks. <laughs> If you were a fan, you'd know. I'm not a fan. I'm glad. Um, you know, but they made the Fiends mask, so that's pretty cool. They did. They did. Who got fired, so... Did he know? Did he? Yeah, I mean, he did. Nobody knows. <laughs> Nobody knows what's real and what's fake anymore. That's true. Is this we're a bunch show of, real? We're a bunch of marks. Am I bunch real? Of, Are bunch of smarks. It's true. Slipknot rules, says Emma. Unsanctioned match. Bullet really wants he's to still, fight you. He still makes um, rap songs, though. He does. He does both. That's There's people that don't champion. listen to MDK say that. The chump has arrived. The locker room leader is what you need. Mm. Locker room. Leader. The guy that got MGK suspended. MGK? <laughs> MXG. I'm like, damn, you got that kind of very, power? <laughs> very similar. Uh, Are they, though? Yeah. <laughs> uh, the guy that uh, gave a lot of people, everybody that's watching, pretty much, if, if you are in chat and you did not have a match tonight, raise your hand. You had a match tonight, sir. You had a tag team match. Just because you lost those titles doesn't mean you didn't have a match. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Well, uh, you, sir, did not have a match. That's correct. That's You're right. better on commentary. And I'm going to get that ass. I'm going to get that ass. You're better on commentary. You know, I'd rather have you on commentary than that other, than that other loser. I'm going to get that ass until I get a match. Mm. Uh, I think that uh, Ty would have something to say about that. I don't give a damn. That's why they make tag team matches. Am I right, Ty? Tag, you're it. <laughs> what happened to you, out of here. What the hell was that? What happened? No one invited what? him. That loudmouth son of a bitch. <laughs> that guy's annoying. I heard he uh, has gone to this camp over summer. That's why we haven't seen him in a minute. Oh, man. Yeah? There's a, there's a lot that happened to Gravitas and White Chocolate. There, there's... Uh, <laughs> There's a story coming, let me, let me tell you. I'll tell it in later time. But they, they went to a camp over summer. Okay. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> this is good stuff. I was hearing all about it from him. Because, yes, he was in the studio. That's why he was here. So, uh, Tyson's Christian camp. 
Weighing in. Uh, how do you know? Oh, it's true, though. Uh, they're born again. Oh, man. Introducing the champion. What a jackass. From Annapolis, Maryland. <laughs> Sorry, I don't like that guy. We, we, we have a long, long history of beef with each other. He is the world champion. But like I said, everybody here had a match that meant something. There was no pointless matches tonight. You know, we have a new, we have two new Money in the Bank holders. True. So, you know, we, we, we did the thing. Michael Myers on commentary for Halloween Havoc? <laughs> hmm. Maybe. I also gifted it out some title shots tonight, if I'm not mistaken. You did. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time for the main event. That belt right there, the NAW Championship, episode 418. Fall Brawl, main event brought to you by Cody King. Cody King, the champion, and Adam Styles, the challenger. Let's go, two out of three falls. Oh, going for it early. Are you kidding me right now? Are we gonna that's have that's a damn happened. squash? That's two out of three. No. No, two count. Get out of here. You know, still gotta get him twice, so. In the real shoulder takedown. Now this is the styles. This is this is the man, the techniques that brought him his very first NAW championship. This is the dominance. Oof! And there's no one out here to help Cody in this. This is a true test for you as a champion. You know, I've had true tests in all 35 of my title reigns. 35. That's, that's a few. Quite a bit. Quite a bit. And yes, our last number one contender is indeed Ty. Standing on the waiting list for that very belt. As you all know, storyline after that is how we're proceeding. So if you think you're the rightful person, Bullet, prove it. Show us why do you deserve to represent NAW as its top champion. BMB showed us tonight. Emma showed us why she was a deserving challenger, putting up possibly mm -hmm. the biggest fight ever against BMB. I'd agree with that. Ty will be calling out whoever wins this match. Get ready for a promo war. Will we see Ty versus Cody King or Ty versus Styles in the month of October? Rolling out. Smart move here. But it is Falls Count Anywhere. It is. Also keep in mind, Taboo Tuesday, this belt will be on the line. One of these two will be defending it. They don't know what kind of match or how many people they'll be facing. That is a fun variable. Anything could happen. I love. And that's Tuesday, only a few days away. They don't even get much of a rest. Normally they get mm -hmm. a week. They get four days. Bear beat Bullet not so long ago. Bear putting their name out there, saying they're a more deserving contender. Thorn. Bear beats beats. Thorn is Battle a star. deserving. Battle Star. Battle Star. It's true, the office. It's the show. It is. Oh, he's doing the switch. Well. Oh, God, what is happening tonight? That is not normal. Who, well, who, who well, switchy thing. thing. It's a Thorn wanting to be in that. We have a lot of names out there. Uh -oh. Show us. Here comes the Kingdom Falls. Oh. Get out of here. No mm -hmm. falls as of yet. Just that. None. Fall. Nice knees there. From Styles. Just dragging him around. Pinfall attempt. Elaborate. Put his feet up on the ropes. Oops. Look at that. Quick. Dirty game. Ooh, the kicks from Styles though. Oh, got him in the inner thigh. Have fun sitting. 
Styles laid out after that exchange. Cody gonna spin him around. Where he lands. Going swing. Woo. Mm. The king swing. Is the king of swing. Pinfall after Falls that. Falls into a pin. Crowd. Is the crowd turning? Is the crowd cheering for you? No. You know, I've done I've done a lot of things that have been good recently. What turning city? a new leaf. No, what city are we in? I don't know, man. This crowd's drunk. They don't know what to think anymore. Look at this just frantic behavior into a running bulldog. What are you doing? Misses the kick, oh. though. Oh! Oh, he landed that oh, one. I hit that one. Yeesh. Survivor Series should be in Sydney, says Bullet. Oh, double arm hooked into the sit down. He doesn't stick with the pin, though. Why? Mistake made. Wrist lock applied there. What are you working on? Out of the ring we go again. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We have to bleep that. A lot of finger pointing and, and words. A pin, not even a one. I don't know what you said, but you said some not so nice things. Just some words. Words of encouragement. That's all that was. It is. I'm sure. So believable. Mm -hmm. Final Absolutely. Final reversal. Styles the challenger here. Cody King, the champion. Main event, episode 418. Two out of three falls is this contest. Still 0-0. Zero, zero. Still 0-0. Zero, zero. This is our fall roll pay-per-view. Our main event, again, and a night that will be remembered. That is for sure. If you guys ever want to check out our past pay-per-views. Oh, got one there. Oh, what was that? Was that a knockout? A knockout that he set up very quickly from. Holy shit. If you guys ever want to check out any past pay-per-view shows, we have a playlist on the NAW YouTube. So is Styles up one nothing after that knockout? I guess so. I'm confused. That was so quick, and you got up so quick. Yeah, knockout, you'd think he'd be down for a second. But... Yeah, I don't know if that was just a judgment call by the referee or what. I mean, if you've watched Mixed Martial Arts, you've seen referees calling TKOs a little too early sometimes. That's true. The ref stoppage, I don't always agree with ref stoppage, but I guess you were safely defending yourself and the ref said nope. You know, the kick, the kick happens really quick. I guess. Uh-oh, rolling through. Oh, this is scary for the champion. Mm. Wow, and just like All that. Twice. Well done. Well done. I am honestly shocked. The sketchy judgment call, and then you were knocked out again. Styles now a two-time NAW champion here in our main ah. event. Styles thanking Cody Absolutely. for the opportunity. Look at the Absolutely. Who are you? What do you mean? You attacked this man a month ago. I didn't. You casually walked I down to the ring not. with the not briefcase of yours you know, and took a belt that that's not yours. Yeah, anybody would have done that. Anybody. You know, you, you gotta be an opportunist in this industry. Why do you need a belt? You don't wear pants. That's true. That's true. I don't wear pants. You know what I do wish? I do wish in this game that uh, we, we could pull the sink with down. Ah, yeah. That's that what you're in business. 
That would be pretty cool. I think uh, Kurt Angle does, but it's only on his. And his isn't cool. That'd be awesome. Well, take a moment, breathing in styles. Tonight was your night, man. You are the NAW champion. Let me get the predictions out before I forget. The tendency to being that. So, 18 percent. Awesome. 18 percent since Styles. 18 percent. That's impressive that it was so low. Put some respect on his name. Oh no! Acumen Wrestling. Not the Haas follows. No oh, man. Getting them in here. Only two though, that's not so bad. Yeah. They've been on a tear. Now I do want to uh, make a little announcement. You know, with uh, everything that has conspired over the past month and a half me changing a new leaf everything like that you guys can trust me you guys cannot trust me um i think this pay-per-view deserves it a little bit the next pay-per-view i am gifting to one of you um but now is for now going off and venturing into our own things we will continue to be friends we will continue to be allies but N.O.W. Black and White, from now on, is officially separated. Wow. A king is nothing without his castle. So, myself, I will not be known as the king anymore. You know, that is, uh, that is played out. It is over. The king is gone. Um, I'm going back to my roots, and I will see you all shortly. That is huge. What does that mean for Taboo Tuesday? What does that mean for Wolfpack? Are we the dominant now? Yeah, 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 that is uh, currently the Tag Team Champions. And like I said, we're still friends, we're still allies. Nobody's turning on anybody, nothing like that. We are all going to walk our separate ways because we don't want a faction to hold us back. You know, you, you mentioned at the beginning of this, uh, this match that, um, that I didn't have NOW out here. You know, I don't necessarily need them and they don't need me. And uh, we're going to we're going to continue on just fine. I did not expect this happening tonight, ladies and gentlemen. I'm a bit in shock. I'm a bit curious about what's to happen next in the career of Cody. He is a maverick, of course. We've seen him confident, good and bad, kind of with who he's aligned himself with, and even running solo. Uh, he is a dangerous individual, but also a generous individual. You've seen, you know, the latter here tonight, the kindness. For me, mm -hmm. I've been in the inner circle. We've battled together, my friend. I don't yeah. trust you as far as I can throw you. I'm yeah, you keeping don't have one to trust eye me. open. You know, I will now be known as the locker room leader. If anybody needs me, if anybody needs anything, come to me. I will help you out, whether it's with a new look, whether it's with a new storyline, whether it's anything that you may need, Cody Maverick will be here forever. Heal or face. Sleep with one eye open, ladies and gentlemen. But mostly, let's give a huge shout out to everyone that donated and subbed tonight. We did meet our goal. Thank you so much. We'll be talking behind the scenes on when we're going to schedule that giveaway. I have to do the fun work now of making sure I count everyone's entry, and I'll be posting that on social media and tagging you in that post. 
to show you how many entries you have and then you ticket range number. We'll be doing it as we've done in the past, drawing from a box of tickets with a number. That'll be the person that wins. Again, we'll come up with what show we're gonna be doing it on. We might be doing additional things, I don't know. Maybe we'll do strands prizes, maybe we'll be doing something else. We'll, we'll think of something fun to do it on and we will make sure it's scheduled in advance with enough time for people to plan on showing up for it. So that is coming soon to the channel. But let me see if I can roll these credits here to thank everyone. A lot of, a we... lot of things tonight, a lot of things happen. Let's see if it, it did it all. Will you work? There it is. Joseph Nerd Acumen, that's us. Thanks for Hello. supporting the stream. Cheers. Rated 6500, Cody 3040, Ty 500, Irop 205, Oroshi 200, Emma 200, Flying Dingus 150, Batman 100, Thunder 100. I don't know if that's accurate, but thank you. Moderators, Lana King, what it says Ruba, up top. Knight, Raven, Stream, Stream, Followers, Hoss, yes! And Hoss. Hey, subs, Irob, Emma, Hosts, Jolly, Batman, Rated, Ads, Ty, Cody, Ira, Queen, Dingus, Cloud. If you guys didn't host this yet, get it in now. If you guys do get strand bonuses for that. It doesn't matter when in the stream you do it. You'll get a strand bonus nonetheless. So, um, September's done, guys. Thank you so much. I look forward to the content coming in October. Be on the lookout for that. As always, turn on notifications. Connect with us on social media. Shoot us a message if you ever have any questions on the content that's coming. Or if you want to get involved in any other way than just being a viewer. If you want to help us out with uh, social media stuff. If you want to help us out by spreading the word. You know, any way that you can help us grow this fellowship would be super appreciated. Um, it's, it's a privilege and honor to be able to do this stuff for you guys. So thank you so much. And of course, uh, for everyone behind the scenes that helps out, Cody, uh, you as well, man. Thank you. I, I thank genuinely you. mean that. Out of character here. You're fantastic, and I appreciate you so much. Absolutely. I'm, I'm very thankful to have uh, found this place over over two years ago, almost three years ago. Um, and yeah, I mean, I've always wanted to be a part of this and make it better even before I was officially a part of it. Um, making things for people and helping this show get better. Um, and then even going down and trying to make the community a better place and being able to do more things and announcing the need for, for our women to be respected and the stuff we did for charity and everything like that. Um, it all it all means a lot, and uh, it, it really comes down to every single person in this community, not just myself. Um, but yeah, I hope you all enjoyed the show tonight. Uh, I tried to make it as fair and as uh, as good as I possibly could for every single person um, that shows up week in and week out and supports us for everything we do. So I really appreciate it. Long live. NAW forever for life. It's not just a phrase, it's fact. We're going to keep this thing going at least until 500 episodes. We hope you'll continue to watch through 500 episodes. If you guys want more after we hit 500, let's do more. But let's get to 500 first and then we'll continue talking. That's our goal and I have a promise. I'll get you to 500 and then we'll go from there. Thank you guys so much though. It's been a wonderful show. We will see you on the next episode. Until then though, have a good night, everybody.